Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to all my new followers. This week we're going to take an exciting shot downtown Dallas of the Greyhound station. I've been there before during daylight and I've always wondered what it looked like at night and it does look pretty impressive at night. So we're going to do some night photography on HP5 with the Nikon FA. Now we're going to use the Nikon FA's built-in meter to take some compositions but we're also going to use the EV system using my Seconic L308S to nerd around a little bit with the EV system. It's a lot of fun. Now night photography you can make it difficult or you can make it simple. The Nikon FA's built-in meter is a really wonderful meter but yeah nerding out on the EV system is also really great. So guys, the next time you'll see me, you'll see me downtown Dallas and we'll be at the Greyhound station and we'll see you there. Well guys, here we are downtown Dallas at the Greyhound station where I'm going to take my composition. And as mentioned, I've been here before and I'm, I'm looking very much forward to um, taking that composition. The composition is going to be much like this, but then of course with the 50. And um, you can see it is a little bit more busy than I would have loved it to be. But then it's downtown Dallas. As you can see, it's also slightly in the more unsavory part of town. But it is what it is. Greyhound is such a classic Americana sort of, yeah, subject. And ever since I took that picture during the day, I've been wanting to come back to take that composition, take a few compositions. We're gonna take a few with the built-in meter with the Nikon FA. And then I'm going to take a couple of shots with the EV system and um, to show you that there's very little difference in nighttime photography. Um, as mentioned, you can make it hard or you can make it easy, but um, we're definitely gonna nerd out a little bit. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna head back to my vehicle, set up shop and, and get going. Now guys, here we are, trying to take our compositions, and as luck might have it, there's something going on. There's definitely some activity which you want to have at a Greyhound station, but anyway, um, I've already preset everything. We're on Infin Infinity, we're at F6, and the meter of the FA is indicating an eighth of a second. So we're just gonna uh, go ahead take that first composition and there's also a lady fantastic so we have that there's there's a lot going on there you want some commotion especially at night the more light you have the better now with night shots guys I always want to make sure that it looks like it is night sometimes I see a video and then the uh, reciprocity failure or Schwarzschild's law is being taken into effect and it's been overdone a little bit. Now, this scene doesn't need 50 seconds of light or 30 seconds. The reciprocal law means that the, the, the reciprocity law means that the reciprocal relationship between the intensity of light, i.e. the f-stop, and the duration of light, the shutter speed, no longer works to get a correct exposure. So when your meter says that you need 10 seconds for a correct, ex a correct exposure, you need to add a little bit of light to get that correct exposure at night. Um, but that's not the case here. There's plenty of light, there's plenty of activity, and at an eight of a second, we don't need to add anything. Um, quite often, I think the reciprocity law is used a little bit as a crutch. We don't need it here. 
Um, of course, there are situations where you absolutely do need it uh, when you're in the field at night and you're trying to expose for the stars or stuff like that. But let's say the only thing in the field that you have or the only thing in your frame is a lantern pole, then you still don't need 30 seconds of light. You need to measure for the darks and the lights and then take your composition. But anyway, I'm gonna do one more uh, shot here. I was waiting for some activity and uh, for some people to pass by. So here's a bus. You can't uh, have that in the shot. Let's see if that bus is in the shot. It's not. So there we have a nice uh, shot of some people in there. And um, now I'm going to move over to exposing with the Seaconic L308. And you're going to see it's not going to make much of a difference in the eventual shots. Here, this guy, Seaconic L308S. And we're going to use reflective because we can't really go over there. We could, but not in this part of town. <laughs> you can't really go over there, so reflective. Um, we're at 400. We're gonna point it exactly where the camera's pointed. A 50 degree, and a 50, and um, 50 millimeter lens has a 47 degree angle which is a little bit wider than the 40 degree angle of the reflective meter, but very similar. So we got a measurement of 7.9, that's eight. Let's say eight. And um, now we're gonna pull the phone out because everybody has a cell phone nowadays. And we're gonna look at a little chart, which I'll put up on the screen, which I have in my photo gallery. And at 400 ISO, that chart tells us that at uh, a value of 8, 400 ISO, at f5.6, we need a 30th of a second. So at an 8th of a second, that's two stops less. Now, I already know to my feeling that doesn't feel well, but anyway, we're going to expose it as such and we're gonna see what happens in the eventual shots. 30 of a second here in manual. And um, here we go at the first shot. There's a gentleman, there's activity, there's a lady. So I wanna kinda of catch that, if we can catch it at a 30th. But uh, we got that shot. And um, we're gonna take one more shot here in a minute, once there's some activity. see here. That's a good one. Good evening. Well, I don't want to have too many cars in there. We already have uh, plenty of cop cars here, but as luck might have it, we did get that. So, but I think a 30th of a second is a little low. Now, for my feel, for my feeling, I want to go at and you know, we're taking six shots here and I can remember the settings, they're in my head. For my feeling, I'm gonna go at half a second. And that's um, two steps, two stops above what the um, FA said. We're gonna wait for all these vehicles to clear because that's definitely not what I wanna have in the frame. I wish there was a little bit more activity. Not vehicles though. But people, here we go. First one, 30th of a second. And we're gonna, we're definitely, I wanna wait for the last shot here for a little bit of activity in the frame. I wish there was, uh, were some people coming. That would be nice. So I think there's two gentlemen coming behind me. So, but they're walking a little slow. We'll see if they do. Just, we're just waiting for some activity and we'll see, we'll see what goes on. Now the EV system, guys, is just a simple, it's just a system to make things simple. I really call it the F-stop system. We're gonna uh, wait a little bit here because you'll get an, uh, a duration, an amount of light for a duration of light. So 
you know, shutter speed at an, a certain given f-stop. So it really is an uh, f-stop system to me, but it's a handy one. And here we go. We're gonna wait a little bit here. Yeah, no, not much activity. So there's a, a lady there. That's gonna have to do it for tonight, guys. Now we're gonna go home. Me, me and my uh, beautiful girlfriend is filming me. And I'm gonna develop the film and we're gonna see what's going on here. So guys, here we are in Lightroom. And here are three exposures that I've chosen from that evening, of course. We took two shots of each. That was to um, get a different shot with maybe some different people or some different activity. But um, there's one shot of each exposure value. Now, if reciprocity, the reciprocity law is the reciprocal relationship between the intensity of light, i.e. the f-stop and the duration of light, i.e. the shutter speed, if that is the uh, formula, so to say, to get a correct exposure, then define correct exposure. Nobody ever talks about that. We have to define what is the correct exposure. And it's interesting because on Instagram, darkroom.com will do these mini surveys, surveys, excuse me, where they'll start with an exposure minus two all the way up to plus seven and they'll ask people which one do you like and honestly the answers are all over the place so indeed what is a correct exposure for me it could be anything it depends on the situation anyway this first exposure i like this one a lot because of the two uh, individuals that are right in the middle of the um the crosswalk, which of course I timed it that way. And you can see the Greyhound is still, this is the FA, this is the um, at F5.6 at um, one eighth of a second. And Greyhound is still a little bit overexposed, but you could uh, mitigate that of course in print and in um, certainly in uh, digital post. But I like it this way. The FA did well. I, I like this exposure. It's really um, probably my favorite of all the, the whole bunch. And it, there's mood. There is a mystery. Where are these two ladies going to these two individuals? Why is this gentleman standing there? What is it? What are these vehicles that hopefully at one day are classic <laughs> vehicles? But um, I like this. The second exposure where we took and reading of with the um, Seconic and reflected meter might seem as a little underexposed, but I still like it. I still like it. It reminds me of that mid-century Japanese photography, street photography, very moody um, due to the dark co covering on the side. You probably don't see the photo as well as you good but I like it why is this individual standing here <clears throat> excuse me this is definitely something that I could um, print I like it but this is a little bit different not that much different you could print it a little different or you could uh, play with it and post a little bit and then the third exposure is me guessing <laughs> a 30th of a second maybe a little um, hi for me for my taste but you could bring that down again in post and maybe certain some other people will like it it's still a night shot there's definitely activity there's still mystery so for me yeah it's 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 i mean pick what you like <clears throat> excuse me guys pick what you like i i like this one a lot because of the two individuals the gentleman standing there and i think the fa did really great on exposing but then again it is a wonderful meter once you learn what it does it's an excellent camera you can also see <clears throat> excuse me again you can also see that with the um 
motor drive on there, you really can just click and uh, wait for the next moment. You don't have to fiddle with advancing and all that kind of stuff. It's all very automatic, very electronic, but very handy. And it's just what you like, guys. You see, it really doesn't matter that much. Some people might think this is too dark. Others might think this is too dark. Others might think this is crap. But that's, that's okay. It's all up to you. It's all what you like. Guys, I hope you've learned something in this episode. It was definitely very interesting. Um, I enjoyed being out there, taking this photo. This is definitely photography that I like personally. I didn't just make it for the video. It was very interesting. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments for me. Love you guys. You guys have a great rest of the week. And we'll see you in the next episode.